Thank you, diagrams. OK, so now we've looked at some simple devices and we can spot what energy transfers are taking place. However, the diagrams we've looked at are a bit simple, as in all the examples, some energy transfers were useful, we wanted them, and some were wasted, we didn't want them. And it wasn't always obvious which was which. Also, the way we looked at the diagrams didn't really show the conservation of energy. What we need is a diagram that shows all of this. And we actually do have it, and we call it a Sankey diagram. Let's look at a really simple one for a light bulb. So, what are the key features? Well, the thickness of the arrow going in at the start shows how much energy goes into the device. In this case, it's electrical energy. The thickness of the arrow going straight on shows how much energy is usefully transferred, in this case, as light. And the thickness of the arrow going down is how much energy is wasted, in this case, heat. So we can easily see those straight away. The thickness of the two arrows leaving must equal the thickness of the arrow going in, so we can see conservation of energy there. It should be quite obvious from this diagram that the light bulb isn't actually very good at doing its job. We'd actually say it's very inefficient. Actually, us physicists like to define efficiency, and we do that by using this equation. Efficiency equals useful energy transferred divided by total energy input. And if we look at it for the light bulb, we find that it's 20 joules here are usefully transferred to 100 joules going in, so the efficiency is only 0 0.2. The closer to 1 the efficiency is, the more efficient the device, the more energy it transfers usefully. Let's look at one more example, this time for the television. So a little bit more complicated here, we've got 250 joules of energy going in, but this time again there's only 10 blocks, so actually we've got 25 joules per block this time. We read a Sankey diagram in much the same way we read a graph. So we've got 250 joules of electrical energy going in. Let's look at how much energy is usefully transferred. We can see here actually we've got two arrows for useful energy transfer. One's two blocks wide and that's for the sound energy. So we can see we've got 50 joules of sound energy being usefully transferred. The other arrow is six blocks wide, so that's 150 joules worth of energy usefully transferred, and that's being transferred as light. OK, let's look at the wasted arrow, the one going down. We can see that's two blocks wide, so 50 joules of wasted energy, and as it often is, it's wasted as heat. So, what's the efficiency of our television? Well, we've got 50 joules transferred usefully as sound, 150 joules transferred usefully as light, that's a total of 200 joules usefully transferred compared to our 250 joules going in. So let's put that in our efficiency equation. We find 200 divided by 250 gives us an efficiency for the television of 0 0.8. Much, much better than we had for the light bulb. So the important information to remember here is that in a Sankey diagram, useful energy transfers go straight on and wasted energy goes down. Also, we had our efficiency equation, which was just useful energy transferred divided by total energy input.